What's up guys? Sam and Harold, Zero Fakery. Uh, I just want to touch on a little bit of uh, some subjects that I've been doing videos on lately because you know the temperature's hot and this political thing and people are choosing their sides and, and I'm calling out hypocrites. I'm calling out, you know, uh, political vultures, you know, and, and I'm just telling it how it is, period. Other opinions are not fed into my opinion. So therefore, when I come to a conclusion, it's not because what I see out there, right? I see, and I see and based people's, um, who they are off their actions, actually what comes out of their mouth. When I'm talking about Trump being a bigot, Trump being bad news, it's only because not what other people are saying, it's what's actually, actually coming out of his mouth, right? For instance, Kid Rock, I call him a bigot, you know? He came up in the rap game, you know? He came up um, hip hop and then all of a sudden he just turned his back on hip hop and went straight to rock, which is cool. Love rock too, you know? Then he went straight southern. Man, I love southern rock too. Uh, but then he started supporting this, what I believe a racist agenda, right? So this, this um, if you're supporting Trump, I'm sorry guys. Uh, if you're a supporter of Trump, you're probably probably been misinformed you're probably watching this right wing media and they're not showing you the other side of it and you did you're just fed to believe he's joking all the time <laughs> but if you think about the things he actually says he actually does it so it's not joke at all so you can take this man at his word uh just because kid rock hangs out with him goes to ufc fights with him and stuff like that he's their buddy buddy you know what i mean this is a popularity thing you know so yeah of course he's gonna call trump his friend because you know so you think he's gonna turn his back on him no but you know what true friends and family always call each other out friends aren't honest with you family are honest and they'll tell you when you're wrong so kid rock's not gonna say to Trump he's wrong he's just gonna ride with it because he's so caught up in his uh, to me reviving his career with this political vulture stuff right how did he how's he reviving his career talking about politics and shooting butt light cans and stuff like that dude's a bigot good thing about being a bigot though is you can always change you can finally wake up and say, you know what? I'm tired of this. You know, I don't care what people think about me. I'm changing. You know, that's it. It's not a mental illness. It's, it's a decision. So, so a lot of people, you know, they say negative things about me when I post videos about this. Um, but I don't care, you know, at all. Zero. It's because I just believe that people who are still hardcore for this Trump guy, like a cult member, yes, like a cult member, um, you're just a gullible, gullible people. And you're the type of people that if you go to a used car salesman and he tells you the car you're gonna buy is the best car in the world, you don't even open up the hood. You just believe everything comes out of his mouth, buy that car and on your way, you know? That's how I believe a lot of these people are but again that can be changed you know wisdom comes from going through experiences in life and finally figuring it out you know let's not make that mistake again all right so so you know who i'm voting for camilla kamala harris and um and it's an obvious decision for me and people think that their bones don't matter. Listen, guys, if this guy actually wins, Trump, if you ever read that Project 2025, you're gambling with your life. You're gambling with your kid's life. You can't gambling with their kid's life. You know how hard it's gonna bounce back if we actually do lose our democracy? Are you gonna gamble with your future? 
just for a few extra bucks that some guy promises you? That man, that's called selling your soul. You know, I can't be bought. You can't give me a bunch of money and and me change my moral, my ethical standings. All right, and I do believe today that the majority of Americans are done listening to this dude and he's gonna lose because enough is enough right and I'm sorry for the guys that are supporting this guy they're gonna be really bummed out and another thing people that are saying I a comment saying Eminem's a hypocrite <laughs> the hell Eminem's been the same since day one right you did if you know anything about it, Eminem, you, you should know he's not going to be a Trump supporter, right? And he ain't hungry for fame. He he makes music because he loves to do it. It's just, he, he's an addictive personality dude, and this is what he chooses to do, even at this age. And rappers, in general, should thank Eminem because at this age, he's proven that he can still be rebel. You can still be relevant making hip hop music. You would never thought that 20 years ago. So salute to him. And um, if you don't like this video, you know what I, you know what I always say. I don't give up. <laughs>